Hello, beautiful people. So for today's video, um, I told you, I think on the last video, that I was going to start going to Stack Overflow to see what issues some people had so I can get more ideas of what to do and I can explain them to them, ex explain them to you in a video format. Um, so this person wanted to transform this string, which is a date, but it's in an, a string, um, to this other format. And so the answer by EMTZ was to do this code. Um, there are also links to the documentation and to the help center, so you can kind of get a better idea. But in case you want to kind of understand this in more detail um, and you learn better with the video, which is totally fine, then let's do this. Um, I will put also the link to this question in the video comments so you can refer to it. And let's get to it. So I put the code um, in my VS code. And let's see, we have the input date time, which is what the person asked to transform. Let me make this bigger. Yeah, that's good. Um, so this is what the person asked to transform. And then the first thing that we are going to do with this string is to actually transform this string into a date time format because this is an actual string like if i take in like type off and put here input date time and then run this this is going to be of type string so this what we have here is just a string and we have to transform it to a date time format. So in order to do that, you can't just do as date time because, oh wait, let me just comment it out. Because if you do that, let me put this here, run it. It's gonna, you're gonna receive an error. I don't know why it keeps showing here. I don't want it here. I just want it here. Oh wait, what if I show it again and then I put it down here? I don't know. Well, it says cannot go string, which is this one, to daytime. Because it doesn't know what exact format it is supposed to be taking, right? Um, if you did something different, like 2020.0101, like this, it will work or not. <laughs> oh, as daytime, sorry. Um, and then what is T? T? No. Yeah, I think it's T and then 10, 0, 0, 0, 0. I, this should work, I think. Yeah. So if we do this, it works because it, it can identify um, what is what. It can identify that this is the date and that this is the time. So there's no issue doing that. But if we try to do it with this one, it doesn't work. It sends us the error that we saw before in of course string to daytime. So this is why you need to add the format right here. So you can tell DataWeave, let me run this. You can tell DataWeave that um, this is the actual format that it's gonna take from the string and transform it into daytime. So first the E, um, it's this, the day of the week. And then we have the comma and then the space. And then we have uh, the two digits for the day, which is 26, then space, then the three, the three characters for the month, which is SEP for September, then the space, then the four digits for the year and so on. So you have our minute seconds and the time zone. This is the whole thing so that now DataWeave can know what is the format of your string and it can pass it as a daytime. So now if I take daytime and put it here, uh, type off, sorry, type off daytime, then this is not gonna be a string, this is gonna be an actual daytime. 
because we transformed it, as you can see here. So now that we have the date time um, and not just the string, now we can transform this date time to whatever we need to do with it. Because, I mean, data wave already knows what is what, and they just need to transform it to a string again. So if we go back, we were doing my date time as string format, and there you change the format. So now you want to pass the date time that you had into a string again, because you want to have this format right here. And so if you run it, now you will receive the actual format that you wanted, which is uh, four digits for the year, then dash, then two digits for the month, then dash, then two digits for the day, which is what this person wanted in the first place. So if we, want, if we go to the docs, for example, this one, oh no, it's gonna take me away from the, no. If we go to the first one, you can see how to format the days and times. So there are other examples here. Um, here you can clearly see that this is already a daytime because it has these pipes, I think they're called. Um, and then you're just transforming that daytime into a string. And here are different formats that you can use to create that string. Um, the output would be like this, for example. And you can also open this in the DataWave Playground if you click here. Magic. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna put the link to just to this part here. And then if you check the answer, um, which this person took the time to explain and to list the documentation and everything, um, you can just scroll down and go to this answer and then check out the docs and everything else that you need. So there you go. Let me know if that was helpful and I can just keep doing that for the rest of the videos or let me know if you want me to do something else. Just remember that it has to be under 10 minutes. It was supposed to be like three minutes because I was doing three minute videos, but it was so edited. <laughs> Um, and now I don't want to edit them, so I'm just publishing the raw video, which is supposed to be less than 10 minutes anyway. So comment here before October ends, um, or send me a message to my handles at DevAlexMartinez in Twitter, in Instagram, in, yeah, mostly those. <laughs> um, or you can also search me on LinkedIn. So, okay, I will keep doing this until you tell me otherwise. See you in the next video. Bye.